Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to part 4 of this apocalyptic city. Since the last video, because Fortress did a little change on the floor here, the grass, so all of this is replaced with rolled at it and it's replaced into a mixture of dirt and some clay, some light and some darker green clay, and we have some normal grass in there too, so it, it's a much better variation like this too. I also, by the way, thank you very much for the comments, I saw a couple people saying how there should be dirt in this, and that is right now, that is happening, and also I saw um, a girl who said that there should be more dirt towards the trees, for example, uh, next to the trees like this, oh god, I have my command on, so next to trees like this you would have more dirt because the roots, they take out the minerals from the ground and there would be no grass going right around the tree, which does make sense and I think we might do that. And it actually is already the case, like there is a lot of dirt, so I think I'm going to keep this for now like this, but it is a additional detail we could add once we have a bit more time. Now today I wanted to focus on this area right here. So I'm going to make a parking lot right here, probably quite big, I don't know if how big we want to do this, like until here and then go up a little bit. We also obviously need to make something that connects to this lighthouse because currently it's just set it's just sitting here on grass and just standing here doing nothing. So let's kind of plan out where we want this to be. I think I want to connect this with with there, but not too close right next to it. I want to sort of make an inway here and an outway sort of there. And we have this in the way, which doesn't matter, but it's like a broken down street. Now I probably want to keep a little grass patch right here and then start it somewhere there. So let's make a little marker for now. Uh, let's just use this right here, some concrete. Actually, I'm just going to use this block because it's easier to spot. Now I want this parking space a little bit downwards uh, down the hill. I don't want it to be the same height as there. I want to go actually down for maybe two blocks. Because then we can go more outwards and have it not look weird here. Because then we would have another situation like this. Which I don't want. I just want a nice little uh, grass patch going down. So I'm going to use some world edit. This is here where I said I would start it. So I'm going to click this corner right here. And let's go until this pole maybe. I think that would actually be alright. We're going to make some parking spaces in a bit and then we actually know how precisely how big we need to make it because I'm not sure yet right now. So let's just replace this with air and now we have a nice area going down. I think this might actually be alright already, like we don't have to go down that much, I just want it to be a little bit of a difference. So we could just do like a little setup down and then let's grab this and then this would be uh, the parking lot height. I think this would actually be alright like this. So let me see the number for this, 2527. So I'm going to replace this little hole here, I'm going to click this corner and we're going to go until there and then right click this and then replace air 2577. Was it 2577? 2567, I think. Let's test this out. 2527. Almost. Almost. There we go. Now, I think we should just make one bigger opening that goes in and out. So we have two lanes here. Two small lanes, though. Like, they don't have to be super big. And then one parking space on this side. And then the entrance is going to be, like, right here. Now, we need to figure out how big we want the spots to be. Because I have no idea at the moment. I think I want to move this a little bit over like this. This is, like, the, the edge. And I'm guessing three spaces is enough. And then let's have three. I think three by four would be all right. Let's see what they have here. It's four and three. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it three and four. I think that's all right. Maybe even five because that would be a more... Uh, this is more realistic in my opinion, but I don't know how many spots we can fit in this. But I think I'm going to go for this because it, it's a lot more natural like this. Like this is a more, more like sort of aspect ratio that a car would have. Talk them in screen terms here. So let's see, three, and then another line, and then three, another line, three, a line, three, a line. Now let's make it a little bit bigger like this, and then we can make a thing going all the way around like that. Let's see, we have three there, and that should be the last one. Awesome. Let's copy this little part to the left, let's do stack, so slash slash stack, and then 20 left, I don't know how big it is, a lot more than 20, maybe even 40. There we go, this is concrete, so it's powder, so it's gonna fall, which is annoying, but we have to work with it. Right, so let's quickly make these lines right here, it's super easy, just quick like that, place these in, and then we have to figure out where we're going to make the entrance, and like the outgoing... Uh, road for this parking lot. Now it can be very close to this edge. I think we could just make it sort of here and then inwards would be three and outwards would also be three. Maybe this. 
3 and 3. And then the middle line is, is right there. I think this is alright. Yeah, like that. Awesome. I like it. Now, the only problem is I don't have a slab that is dark. <laughs> and I've always hated this and I wish we could have a dark slab, but we just it just doesn't exist in Minecraft yet. Maybe eventually we will get it, but for now, it, it's probably never going to happen. Now, we can make a line in the middle here that we can actually make like this. So a slab like that goes down. Super easy. Now, I have to think of something different for, for the step walk here. And, I, and we might just do it like this. Like, this is the only reasonable way to, uh, to do this. Now, we want to make kind of four rows. So you have a row here, then two here next to each other, and then maybe a final one here. I think that should be enough. It's not that many parking spaces. But it's, it's not like a hugely populated area, it's a tiny beach here. And the water is going to come until here, we might actually do that today as well. So I don't think we need that many parking spaces. We might actually make a couple parking spaces, like three or two, near this lighthouse so people can drive to it. And we could make like a little road that goes here or down there. That might actually be cool. So let's plan out these spaces further. It's lots of planning. So we I left a gap there, and I'm going to leave one there, and then make... A line here. Now we decided on five, so one, two, three, four, five, and then we need to make a middle line, which we could do once again with this. So we have a little bump in the middle so people don't go over it with the cars. Then I'm going to need to leave a gap here because obviously people need to drive around and be able to park there. And look how perfectly centered this is. It might actually be the perfect amount. <laughs> I have no idea, but it might be the perfect amount. So let's line these out further. We have one going there, then three, and here. And then the last one is going to be there. Now, perfect. Can we squeeze another one in there? Eh. We could do something here. We could make it go out a little bit and allow for some driving space there. But I'm not sure. Let's let's just try this first and see how it looks. So we need to fill this up like that. And then if we would had it all the way down to there, it's quite long. I don't know if this is going to be looking good. Because then we have, okay, we have this little area there. Then we would have to make like a round circle going like this. It might be a cool, like it's something interesting. It's not just a simple square. Let, let's just do it. I think it would be awesome. So I'm going to take this as the middle point and then probably take this out two blocks. So we have a nice little driving way. Yeah, I think it should be fine. That should be alright. I don't even know if we would need a double line like this. We could actually just have it like this because there's not going to be two ways in this parking lot. You just drive in and drive out on the same track there. So let's try and make this nice and round. Let's see if I can make a nice shape out of this without world edit for once. I'm not going to use world edit. This, maybe one more there and then it should be fine. So this goes around like this. I'm going to copy that design to, uh, to the left. Let's place the slabs on the edge like this. There we go. So that's a spot and this is going to be a way to drive through. I think we need to make it bigger because just in case if a car is coming like that and another car wants to leave like this, there's not enough space for them both to fit. So I think we have to at least make it one wider so that we have one, two, three, four, five, six should be sufficient, I think. That should be fine. So let's make this a little bit bigger like this and let's go out like that. This one also, maybe this one can be like this and then that one like that. Now that's a better circle. Although this looks a little bit odd, I might just do that. And there we go. Let's click all these things there. Now this is a bit more fine. We could probably have two cars passing here. And I kind of like this design. It's not just a square, it's actually something cool. So because we are lazy, actually, I am lazy. I don't know about you guys, but me, um, I'm going to copy this all the way to the left. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to stand in a center point, which is just in case this one now. I'm going to copy, slash as copy, and then flip it into this direction and paste it again. Ooh, that was hard, wasn't it? Now, did we actually precisely put that? That was, oh, that's amazing. Let's fill that back up. Some random grass. There we go. And uh, let's see. What do we have? We need to take away this, and then there should be... The design of this should be pretty done. I like this. This is pretty cool. This is interesting. How many places do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 6 is 12. And then 5 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, it's 10. So we have 12 and 10 is 22. 22 parking spots. It's not too bad. Now I'm actually thinking about extending this one space. So we have 
one, two, three, four more, which would be 26 spaces. I think we should do that. So I'm going to take this entire thing and stand on the edge, which is right here and here. Then position two and then move. How big is a parking spot? Four, right? Yeah, four. I'm not in that direction. I'm failing. Undo, move four, right. Okay, now we should have space for another one. If I do this, so it's three in between, and then, yep, okay, cool. So now I can use this patch here until there, and do stack one left, and kaboom, we have a bigger parking spot now. Quickly fill this up here, like that. Awesome, I'm gonna keep this. Now we need to edit the terrain here a bit so that it matches up with the parking lot because I don't want this to be a big drop here. I want this to be smooth and nice. So let's take away as much junk as we can because we don't need this concrete powder over here. So let's take that away. Then I'm gonna use the voxel sniper tool to actually put some more terrain here. I want an arrow like that. Okay, cool. What are these guys talking about? Black holes and everything? Just go away from Nick or he'll say fuck off. <laughs> Hey, I mean, don't don't disturb me in a video. I will get nasty. <laughs> Let's take away this that we don't need. I'm doing this a very unofficial way, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to use some of this grass, and we could probably just... Oh, we're replacing it now. I need to add on top of it. Let's do B disc, and let's see how big this is. Okay, that's all right. That's cool. Now, I need to expand this in a nice way. Let's start over there and go all the way around like this. So we need to bring it out quite a bunch in order to have a nice mountain that doesn't look weird. I'm gonna also bring this out a bit and we can use a replace command to replace it into this cool material later as well. Let's fill this up quickly like that. Then we need to take the second piece. It's gonna be, it's just one more layer. So this is super quick. Just following the pattern here and then entering there. I just click a couple times inside Take that away, cool. Then my final one here, I'm going to just randomly place this and we forgot a couple bits here, like that. And this one can go out quite a bit more. I would just need to take away those manually because I don't want to smooth out this parking lot by, by brushes because it's gonna do a lot of weird things and it's not too hard to just do this all the way around, all right? Just click a couple times and take away a couple times. It is not hard, like that, this can go away. And cool, then we have a couple more there there and there okay awesome now we need to change this black powder underneath because we don't need it and it's going to look a bit weird so i'm going to change it into a more sort of a stone block so we have a nice dividing section and same thing here okay is this all the way around nope here we go then for now i'm probably just going to use andesite and place that there because it looks quite nice and sort of like concrete like that okay cool so let me replace this everywhere. There we go, it looks a lot better already. Now we need to actually detail this whole thing because otherwise it's gonna look pretty bad. But guys, I'm actually going to leave that for the next video otherwise these become too long and I know I don't do too much in a single video because I end up talking a lot and show you guys a couple things here and there. But I hope you still do enjoy the little progress that we make every video and I'm going to very much increase the frequency of these uploads so that you can see more progress and that we have more progress. So I know it may look like I only did this little simple thing, but it's it still is 15 minutes of building and talking at the same time, planning this out and just putting it down and explaining things to you guys, which I think is better than to just time lapses everywhere and just that way you don't learn anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. The next one will be very close to this one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.